Hi there, I'm Sue Bodin. I'm your favorite NLP and business coach. I often hear the phrase fail fast thrown around by marketing strategists and coaches. And frankly, it's BS. They tell you to fail fast, but what they don't mention is the time, effort, and money you lose along the way. Trust me, I've been there and it's not just painful, it's frustrating and costly. Especially for you startup coaches out there, diving into this industry can be overwhelming. With the fail fast advice, you might feel like you're just spinning your wheels and getting nowhere. You know what's even more concerning? The market is getting more and more saturated. This fail fast approach is only going to dig deeper holes in your pocket and spirit. But there is a better way. What if you could actually look at the current market and make decisions based on real data, tailored specifically for your specific niche? Imagine saving yourself from endless cycle of trial and error. Here, here are the three key things to consider. When validating your business idea, whether it's a coaching program, service, or product. Number one, is the product or service for market fit? Assess if there is a real demand or need for your coaching service or product in the market. Identify your target audience and understand their specific needs and challenges. Are there enough people who are looking for the solutions you offer? Number two, is the product or service for solution fit? Evaluate how well your service or product addresses the problem or need you have identified. How does it compare with existing solutions? Is it more effective or more accessible or more affordable, right? Understand how your offering stands out in the solving problems of your potential clients. Number three, is the product or service for financial fit? Determine the financial viability of your service or product. Can it be priced at a level that is both attractive to your target market and profitable for you. Consider the cost of delivering your service or product and assess if the potential revenue is sustainable for long-term business growth. Skipping these validation steps can lead to launch a coaching service or product that the market doesn't need or want, leading to wasted effort and financial loss. For all of you startup coaches out there, understanding these aspects it's crucial for your success. If you want to learn more about my method, the same one I teach my paid clients, just comment below. I'll share with you how to effectively validate your coaching services or products. Let's set you on the path to real sustainable success in your coaching business. Talk soon.